Wednesday morning. Today I thought I would do a little what I eat in a day vlog style video because I have not done one of these in a while and when I did the last one it was like all fancy and whatever and personally when I watch what I eat in a day videos I like when they're just like chill. I don't know it's like you're actually like cooking with that person. It's not like a big production. So today I thought I would experiment with one of those. I'm also finishing up filming a moving vlog so if this looks familiar um that yeah it's a little tag team in that today. So here I am in the kitchen. This will be the uh, main location of today's set. So currently it's about 10 a.m. and I was just gonna kick this off with what I'm making for breakfast. My breakfast really don't vary that much. So today I am making a smoothie bowl because that's just a fun thing. So we start out in the freezer. As a side note, completely unrelated, I forgot this was in here. I found this Trader Joe's non-dairy um, chocolate ice cream type thing with coconut milk. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, so my berries, I bought more yesterday. I always just go for like a straight up like berry medley. So for the base of the smoothie, it's really simple. I'm just taking my frozen berries from Trader Joe's. Pretty much, actually, absolutely everything that you'll see in this video is from Trader Joe's. It's the only place I've grocery shopped here. So my base is just coconut milk with that. And then for some toppings, I have these chia seeds, shredded unsweetened coconut, some fresh blueberries, banana. I'm gonna slice up probably half of on top and some raw sliced almonds. So I said this recently in a vlog as well, I believe, but a little life hack I've been using to get me to drink a lot of water is um, every morning cutting up either like a half of a lime or a lemon, today I went with lime, um, and just slicing that up, putting it in the bottom of my glass, and then adding ice and then water. That way throughout the day, the lime is continuing to flavor the water like every time you add more in there. Whereas if you just like squeezed some lime juice into like a glass of water, then you're just gonna drink it all right there. Does that make sense? So yeah, here we are with our lime water. We're gonna give that a little second to flavor. So I usually fill it with coconut milk to about like near the point that the fruit stops. Cause that way hopefully we won't have blending issues. And then I'm just blending it on my Nutribullet that my parents got me for my birthday cause they know I love it. Next up, I'm gonna slice up a little banana. Probably just gonna do half of this and save another half for a different day. All right, so I'm just gonna like thinly slice this up. For a little bit of crunch, I'm just gonna add some of these. Make like a little stripe. I've said it before and I'll say it again, my absolute worst nightmare would be spilling a bag of chia seeds just all over the ground. So I'm just taking probably like a tablespoon of these, maybe a little more. And I'm just kind of sprinkling these over on like one side over here. So it'll just help me stay full longer. For another crunch factor, we're just taking a little bit of this coconut and kind of filling in this corner over here. Corner, it's a bowl, this side. These blueberries are also about to go bad, so I'm gonna wash these off and put these in here as well, and then we're done. So there we go. Here's what it looks like. That was super easy, it took like Five minutes if that in our absence of a dining table <laughs> that should go in there or any sort of chair whatsoever beyond our couch um adrian has left one of her nightstands that are for her room down here and it's still all wrapped up so this is our designated eating area of the house okay it is now 1 i've been powering through some closet assembly if you haven't seen that moving vlog i will have it linked but now since it's like an odd time i don't want to eat like a giant meal and then not be hungry until like I don't know, seven or eight. I tried to like cook on the earlier side. So I'm gonna make like a little snack-ish meal. You may have seen me do this before because I love this combination and I actually haven't done this in months because I've been cutting out dairy just ever since my family went vegan. Like I'll have it sometimes at restaurants or like whatever. I'm not like really that picky about it, but I just haven't been buying it at the store other than like the slightest amount of Greek yogurt for um, this sauce that I'm gonna show you guys how to make tonight. Um, Cause I've been looking forward to making this. So I'm making it tonight, but um, I did buy a little mini thing of goat cheese at Trader Joe's the other day because I was, was missing this combo. So basically it's just like a little guac mix of avocado, mango, and goat cheese. Mix it together. Tortilla chips, whatever. I have these I have these plantain chips that a friend recommended to me. But I can't decide if I like or not, but I don't know what else I'm going to use this for. So I'll probably eat a few of those with it. Or I can't decide if I'd rather like mix this up and like put it on a piece of toast 
I got this like Ezekiel bread stuff that I hear people talk about. I don't mind it, it's pretty good. The only thing I really ever use bread for is avocado toast. I'm trying to decide if I wanna toast it or chip it. I also showered, so my hair's looking uh, hopefully better. This is a 10 out of 10 avocado. So I've kind of just like cubed that up as you can see. And I'm gonna put it in here and then like mash it slightly, but I'm not going for like, I don't know, a super smooth guacamole. Cause I like, uh, I don't know, the mango is obviously like staying in little pieces. Like the goat cheese, I don't want like fully blended in because then that's not fun because you can't even really taste it. I like getting like a little bite of some. So therefore, I like keeping my avocado semi-chunky also. How does one cut a mango? Never know. Here's what we've got so far. Now we're gonna scoop out a little bit of this goat cheese. And then you take this and you mix it up. You could really even do this without the goat cheese and it would still be like fruity and smooth and good. I just think it adds a nice little flavor. So, just came to have a quick snacky. Hi, look who you ran into. Look who I found room. in the kitchen. Why am I in your house? Oh wait, it's mine too. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> so happy. Is this all joint recycling just collectively <laughs> everywhere? Yeah. Great, all right. Having a quick little snacky, so just a little hummus, a little pita chip action. I typically eat carrots with it. No, I don't, that's not true. Half the time I eat carrots with it. Half the time I pita chip it up, but my carrots um, went bad and I didn't realize, so I didn't buy more at the store. Okay, dinner time. I'm looking through my drawer. So what's on the menu for dinner? This is all just like a little one pan meal situation. It's gonna sound complicated. It's really not. Trust me if I'm doing it. It's pretty dang easy. And I know you guys comment saying I shouldn't cook like meat and fish or whatever in the same pan with vegetables for, you know, health purposes. But honestly, I've literally done it my whole life and I've always been fine and I know, I know that you shouldn't do it. But um, when I expand from one pan to two pans, it just feels way too complicated and then I'm not gonna be motivated to do it. So I'm gonna live on. What I'm doing tonight is a little seared salmon situation. I'm gonna cook up some Brussels sprouts, broccoli, these white mushrooms that um, if you might remember, I learned I like mushrooms from my family went vegan for a minute because I hated them my whole life. Now I like them. I just have to like cut them down into like smallish pieces. So I'll take up a little spinach and then I'm making this sauce that I referenced earlier using about like a third to half a container of um, Greek yogurt and gonna, I'll show you how to do it, but it's like a dill, cucumber, lemon sauce. It's really good, so that's where we're going. Um, I went ahead and started heating up some olive oil over there, uh, but now I'm gonna cut up all my vegetables and get everything ready to go to then just like put it in the pan at the same time. I feel like when I add stuff as I'm going, the stuff's finishing at different times and it's just not ideal. So first up, we're just gonna cut up a bunch of vegetables and wash them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and that way I'm done with the cutting board for vegetable things and I'll put the salmon on there and probably cut that in half. I'm gonna go ahead and plop all this over in the pan. I'm just adding a little salt and pepper, additionally a little bit of this everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's just all around. And then for my Brussels sprouts, I put them face down like that because I have put them before and cut off the stem. And then like halfway through when the bottom, like the olive oil is kind of like caramelizing and giving them like a little brown crunchy texture on the bottom, then I flip them over and cook them the rest of the way until it's like that on the other side. So that's what's up. I'm gonna cut my salmon and put that in. Okay, so salmon is on there. I just did the same kind of seasoning on both sides, nothing fancy. Um, and then I'm gonna leave it cooking until that side gets crispy and then I'll flip it until that side gets crispy and I'm watching my Brussels sprouts also to know when to flip it and everything else I'm just kind of stirring around and later right towards the end is when I will add the spinach. Now for my sauce, um, so what I'm gonna do, is take some of this Greek yogurt, shred up some cucumber, add a little lemon juice, cut up some dill, add a little salt to taste, and that's our sauce. It's a weird thing to be mixing this up in, but I'm mixing it up in a measuring cup because we don't have tiny bowls. Since the cucumber will be really watery, um, I'm just gonna take it, put it on a paper towel, and gently kind of like dry out a little of the moisture. And I'm going to add this to the sauce and mix it up. Next, I'm gonna slice up this lemon. 
that apparently Trader Joe's decided to label not one, not two, but three times. Basically, I'm just gonna squeeze out a liberal amount, but I'm gonna leave that for right now. And then I'm gonna take just some fresh dill and chop up a few sprigs of that. We're gonna add that to the sauce. There are more graceful ways to do this. I'm going to mix it up. I'm gonna add a little salt. I tasted it, tastes divine. And I'm just gonna put that beside my salmon and it makes a good little accompaniment. I also flip my salmon. I'm now giving a quick wash. Well, lost two pieces. A big old handful of spinach over here. I'm just putting it over there. And this is the final product. I put my spinach and mushrooms over here underneath the salmon. Scooped out the sauce, put my veggies back there. I'm so excited to eat this. Also, lol, that at no point today did I get ready whatsoever. So, dinner's already set up. Now means it is the end of my what I eat in a day video. So, I'm gonna eat this while it is hot. Good flaky salmon. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, please leave me a comment below so that I know to do more. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Come on,